Hi there, Poppin' PJ here. We are going to do a super easy and super fun craft project transforming our plain stemware to these gorgeous pieces that you see here. This acrylic painting craft can be done anytime but would be great for ladies or girls night. You will need some glass stemware such as wine glasses, martini glasses, and you can even use a beer mug. Painting will be on the bottom of the glasses. You will need some acrylic paints, colors of your choosing, some top shelf dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So here I have my glass, um, my paints, a cup of water, and some little containers to put the paint and the water in, and a small canvas. As you can see here, I am taking the paints that I'm choosing to use for this particular uh, pair of glasses and putting them in little plastic cups, just a squeezing just a little bit, not too much because these are small pieces. And next I am adding a little bit of water, not too much, there's no exact amount. You just mix it up, you don't want it too runny. You do want it to have a little bit of thickness, so you just kind of play with it. And next you want to mix the paint with the water together really good. I'm using a tongue depressor, but you can use anything that will mix up the paint and the water. As you can see here, I'm adding a little bit more paint because I felt it wasn't quite thick enough. So next I am just going to start layering the paints on the canvas, um, starting with the different blues and just a little bit at a time and continuing to layer and I will play around with it till I kind of get the color pattern that I want. At first I'm a little too dark with my blue and I decide to put more turquoise and white in it and then I will get to this completed paint mixture that you see here with the colors that I want more prominent. I'm just using a fork to swirl the paints together until I get to the color combination that I like. Next, I am taking one of my pieces of my glass stemware and just placing it into my puddle of paint mixture. I am just holding it there for a few seconds. This craft is that easy. Just swirl paint and press glass onto it. I just placed the bottom of the glass right onto the paint and held it there for a few seconds and then picked it right up. I am just wiping the excess off the top part of the uh, glass there because I don't want any paint on that portion. Look how cool this is. I absolutely love doing acrylic crafts with the blues. Our fun is not over yet. We have this paint on the small canvas here. It's a five by seven, I do believe. And it's gonna take no time to make a beautiful piece of art in addition to the artistic glass stemware that we're making. So it's like getting a bonus with our arts and craft project here. So I'm just adding some more color so that it will cover the canvas and I'm putting the dark blue on right now. Now the turquoise blue and some white. Oh, and some silverish gray. You just tilt the canvas until you get the colors to move as you want to and to cover the canvas piece. Oh wow, look how pretty. And now for those spots on the canvas that didn't get color, those small areas there, you can just take your finger, as I'm wearing a glove, and just dab over that with the paint and it still will look great. A little more paint. A little more dabbing. The artwork that we are making with the leftover paints takes more time than it did to actually make the uh, painted stemware glassware, which didn't take much time at all for either one. I'm finger painting. 
making sure to get the edges. So again, just dabbing my finger in the paint and making sure the sides are covered. Wow, look how beautiful this is. This is going to look so good next to the wine glasses, you'll see. Now, this is another large glass that I have and some leftover paint from another project that I'm just dabbing on the um, periphery of the bottom of the glass. And then now I'm going to pour some uh, leftover paints, uh, blues, purple, and some white and then just going to swirl it around. I will just add more paint as I need to to get the coverage that I need for the bottom of the glass. Some cocktail glasses are going to be hollow in the bottom and not flat like our wine glasses we just did, so you will have to pour the acrylic paint into the bottom and swirl it around. Now that the bottom of the glass has been completely covered, I'm just going to let the excess paint drip into a small cup. Look how beautiful this glass looks with the color showing through. And now that the glasses that we have done the acrylic painting on the bottom have dried, I'm going to now do a dishwasher safe um, Mod Podge coating on the bottom of the glasses. I have had this idea for a while, but I did not know that there was a dishwasher safe top rack dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And so that is what I'm using uh, to cover up the uh, painting that I've done on the glass. The Mod Podge dries clear. And I am just using a smaller brush here to get the uh, edges of the glasses, just to make sure that they're completely coated in case just uh, the brush did not get the sides very well. Look how fun this is. And so very easy too. And now to do the other wine glass. I will be putting multiple coats of this Mod Podge on the glasses. Just using my finger to wipe off the excess on the part of the glass that does not have the paint. I am so very excited at how these are turning out. This stemware came out awesome, even better than I thought it would, not to mention the bonus artwork that we have with the leftover paints. As it all goes together, it's stunning. Nobody else has this a pair of wine glasses that I have here because I created it with the colors that I chose and again the beautiful art piece that we created with the leftover paints and look how great this large cocktail glass came out with the purples it is just stunning and check out these two martini glasses with the multiple colors that I had used and that were left over from a previous project those leftover colors I thought you know what let me try putting them on the bottom of a beer mug and it came out great too. So here's the toast to our beautiful stemware that we made. I absolutely love them as they are one of a kind and they're just have been transformed from plain wine glasses, martini glasses, and a beer mug to very unique beautiful um, art pieces that you can use functionally for your cocktails and or beer. So to a job well done, as I think they turned out great because they are poppin'.